Hi dear, this is an episode of Catholic Marriage Forum. In a special way, I congratulate all our followers, all my friends who recently got married. I pray that the Lord may bless them and bless their marriage. Amen. I also pray for all our followers who are not yet married but who are also searching. I pray today that the Lord may bless you and lead you to their right spouse. This is my prayer for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hi, my beautiful people. Today, the Holy Catholic Church begins a new liturgical year. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Advent is a liturgical season in the Catholic Church which emphasizes preparation for the second coming of Christ, that is parousia, and for the coming of Christ at Christmas. There is need for preparation in our lives as Christians. Many married people today experience crisis in their marriage simply because they never prepared for their marriage. Young people watching me, I want you to learn from the mistakes of the past. Prepare, build your future marriage on a right foundation. Briefly, I want to share with you three ways by which you can prepare for your marriage. One is prayer. The scripture says that, you know, a capable wife is a gift from God. God is the one who gives a good husband, who gives a good wife. So when you are preparing to marry, walk with the Lord. Prayer. Ask God to lead you to the right person. It is so unfortunate that people who are preparing to marry, they think about so many things, they don't even, you know, consider that aspect of walking with the Lord in prayer. Yes, ask the Lord to lead you to the right person. It is the most important way to prepare for your marriage, to prepare for anything you do in life. Prayer. Now, the second way is seeking for someone you are compatible with and one you love. Compatibility. Compatibility in everything. Don't just marry someone because the person has money. So, okay, this is the person I want to marry. Seek for that compatibility. Are we really compatible? Do you really love that person? Does the person love you? And again, I want to request, I want to ask our parents that they should not force their children to marry someone they don't love. It is so unfortunate that in our society today, many parents, you know, force their children to marry. Hi, you are still here, your mates are married and you are not married. What are you doing? Are you not looking? Are you not looking at this person? Are you not looking at that person? Why don't you go and marry and leave my house? No. Statements like this have pushed many young people into wrong marriage. So my dear mothers, dear fathers, please do not force your children into marriage. Let them choose. Let them choose. Now the third way is marriage cause. When you find the right person you want to marry, don't just spend time to marriage. There is need for you to, you know, undergo that marriage course. Learn more about marriage. Understand what marriage is all about. When you lack suitable knowledge of marriage, you are not even supposed to marry. There is need for this marriage course. Understand what the church is teaching about marriage. Let those who are into it teach you and learn from experts so that you'll be able to build your marriage on the right foundation. So my dear friends, preparation is important in your marriage so that you will not have a wrong marriage. Today, I pray that the Lord will bless you as we celebrate, as we begin this season of Advent, may the blessing of Almighty God Never depart from you and your household. Amen.